Hi everyone, this is Marcia from Our Vintage Store. This is the day I've been waiting for. I get to open this big jar and share what's inside with you guys. Um, it was purchased with uh, six other jars at the Salvation Army and we paid $12.99 for this one. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what we have. Okay, well right off the top we have an adorable brooch pen, sweet sleeping little teddy bear, feels like porcelain, it's not plastic for sure, but that is very, very sweet. That's nice, I like that. Then we have a stretch bracelet. It says Hawaii. And before I go any further, I just want to say thank you to everyone that has watched my videos and to those that have subscribed. Uh, I believe I am up to 40 subscribers now. And um, it's just it's unbelievable. I, I can't believe that I have that many so far. So anyway, thank you very much to all of you. Uh, next we have a silver tone butterfly pendant uh, it looks like that inlaid glass the well actually like like the polymer clay that you you know you do the slicing and then blend it in uh, I don't know if there's a name for this or not but it's very nice um, then we have another bracelet this one looks like a charm bracelet, a silver tone, and it does say DI. We have another one of those big red beads. I'll put that right back in the jar. Or back in, I have a bead jar over here because I know I'm going to have beads. It's not been a jar that I haven't had beads yet. <laughs> so here is... Um, Strand of Pearls, I have some shadowing, I hope it's not going to be too bad. Um, these do not have the knots in between the pearls, the silver tone, I'm assuming silver tone, and the clasp says Japan. So, got those, let's put that over there. Then we have a button style with the plastic clip on the back. So that's definitely a newer piece. Uh, we have a lapel pin that says Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Still in the package. Uh, here we have a silver tone hoop earring. And we have another one of these, whatever they are. I have n absolutely no idea. So if anybody does know, um, please let me know in the comment. I've gotten several of, the several of these so far, and I haven't a clue as to what they're used for. But it almost looks like a bug's body to me. So I'm going to stick that in with the beads as well. Oh, here, here's another one. Nice color, turquoise. Okay, and here we have a silver or silver tone. I don't know, this one looks pretty well made. This this could be silver, but uh, has a nice rhinestone or CZ heart shaped in the middle there. Have a button cover. This one is uh, that copper color. Got a match. Those are kind of nice, but this one that I pulled out first looks like it's missing a part. So, I don't know. Maybe we could take this off and still be usable. Put that off to the side. Um, oh, we've got 
got a pair of earrings. These are tied together. Um, they're uh, like a hammered disc on one side and smooth, and they are. This is a fish hook, and they're both there, so that is definitely a pair. So we've got two pairs so far. have a barrette with an earring attached. It's, I used to have some like this in the day. And here is a little heart charm earring. Here is a ring. Costume, pretty worn with uh, the rhinestones. Oh, not much there. And uh, let's see, it looks like we have a gold leaf leaf. Very lightweight. And that's a pendant. Uh, my pendants put them over here and the bracelets here. And we have a gold tone earring with a drop pearl or a curl drop. Here's another pearl earring. This is also gold tone and it has, that is um, like suede. Feels like purple suede. And that is a clip back. A clip. Here we have we have a necklace with an earring attached. Okay, this is um, like a choker style silver, probably silver tone, um, and it has alternating flowers and butterflies. You can see that. Very delicate, very lightweight. So, okay, we have we have a pair of what may have been earrings. We don't have the um, ear wires, but these are the the darker, the gunmetal, and this. It looks like that one pearl is broken. So, and we have a match, which I have right over here. A little basket of earrings that I pulled out from the other, other jars, the single earrings, and we have a pair. These are nice. Okay. A lot of people like red. And this is a tech pen. It's very sharp there. It's gold tone with a rhinestone in the center. Do I have any pens so far? No. Um, oh, where is it? We have a match. We have a pair of the purple suede and pearl drop earrings. Well, we're doing better with this jar so far with matching up earrings. I have so many mismatched ones from the last jar and the last few jars, really. But um, this is pretty. Gold tone with the red rhinestones. Let's uh, clip. I do not see any markings on that. But that, that looks like it's nice, made well. Okay, and here we have a shell, very lightweight shell, pendant, uh, trimmed in gold. I'm going to try to watch my time on this. Uh, I don't want to make this too long, and I might make this uh, two videos. Oh, I think we have a pair. So... Uh, I'll see what the time is when I get to the halfway point. Okay, yeah, we have a pair of hoops. So 
got those. Oh, and these look worn, but they are a pair. And they are together for me. So that's good. There's another hoop. Got a lot of hoops in this one. Uh, this. Doesn't want to straighten out. Oh, there we go. This could have been a pendant or an earring, but incomplete. Here we have a brooch. Silver tone with the chains and the black drop. Here we have a silver tone etched on the top. It looks like a flower in the center. And the back of this says best. So that's that. And we have another one of those bug light things. And we have. Um, Says Atlanta, I believe, has a date. 1996, Atlanta. The pelt pin. Here is another brooch. Um, gold tone with pearl. And here's a broken necklace. That bead looks nice, but the other ones feel like plastic, so there you go. That's broken. And here we have a plastic pen. Let's, they won it 49 cents for it, but uh, this has a decal on top of the plastic and it's lopsided, so. Not very good on that one. Here we have a ring, uh, rhinestone ring, band style with stretchy band. Here's another gold tone. Okay, there we go. Gold tone earring with a crystal drop. And that is pierced. Okay. Here we have a gold necklace and gold tone. This one says Northern Plains Reservation Aid 2017. And Sequoia on the back. And here is another pierced earring um, with some pink rhinestones and a glass bead. Okay, I don't see this in my stash, but I'm pretty sure we had this in a previous jar, the red, white, and blue. So if we did, and I'm pretty sure we did, we have a match there. Here's another hoop earring. This is a slider with a red rhinestone or a red red stone. Two of them here. Put that off to the side. We have an earring here. That's fish hook ear wire with a little figure. This almost looks like it is handmade. That's cute. Put that to the side. Ooh. Here we have a match to that one 
earring that was missing the back and this one also is missing the back but we have a pair of postless earrings here we have a brooch that uh, the stones look like a very deep amber they even look like they have the um, the settlement in it but it's plastic cabochon and very long chains with beads on the bottom here we have another button cover this one in a jewel tone looks like a citrine color oh wow big door knocker clip earring and uh, it's a hammered and that brush gold finish and this one has E period D period so if that is a maker's mark I'm not familiar with it um, not familiar with too many brands of costume jewelry so if anybody knows what E D is please let me know in the comments so we'll put that off to the side it's a single Okay, another button cover. This one looks kind of bronzy, like it's a bronze color. And there's a silver tone. Wow. This is a pendant. And this has two large pearls, and the rhin it's a rhinestone snake coiled around it. Wow. That's something. Not something I would wear, but somebody might like it. And this is a stretchy bracelet. They are wood beads with, looks like Chinese or Japanese, uh, Asian characters on them. Oops, here's another hoop I think matches this one here. Um, yes, yes, same size. So another pair of hoops. Wow, so one, two, three, four pairs so far. And here is another gold tone hoop with pearl. And here's another brooch gold tone with the pearl. A lot of pearls in this one. And this is very shiny. <laughs> Sparkling. I don't know what it is. It's a cover for something it looks like or um, I don't know if this is a slider type but it has um, openings on either side. Here is what looks like uh, bronze or bronze color anyway. Um, that's nice. Very heavy. Um, it's a pendant. A large bale. And it has uh, three leaves on it. There's another pendant. This one is silver tone. Um, best. It has best on the back and palm tree on the front. Okay, this is um, a big earring, fish hook, ear wire, and it's that olive green color. I think that's glass. Okay, and I think I might show you this and then cut and do a part two. We're about halfway through we're about halfway through the jar and I don't want this to to run I think it's about been close to 30 minutes and I don't want it to run much past that. But anyway, we'll do this last one. This says my friends went to Illinois and all they brought me back was this lousy keychain. <laughs> so <laughs> and they must have thought it was lousy because they donated it so and it was three ninety nine. Anyway, so uh, I'm going to stop it here, and I'm going to pick it up and um, make this two parts. 
So see you on the other video. Bye.